Hello and welcome to the Druidcraft Mod Spotlight. This mod adds a new biome called the Darkwood Forest, which I'm currently in, as these Darkwood trees, one or two trees available in the mod. I placed out the various flora. This is pretty cool. You'll notice when I break these lavenders, it's all just the same item. And there's three different colours for the lavender, as you can see. So it works similar to how the flower forest used to work. So you recall in the past with flower forest, if you a flower grew in that spot when you bone milled it, it would always be the same one. So it looks like it's that sort of thing. See, it's always the same colour there. Now, we also have these, the blueberries. So these are like wild berry bushes. And you're going to see that actually they're going to be growing quite fast. And the reason they're going to be growing fast is because here we have the lamp of growth in the middle. And this will accelerate growth in a 5x5 five five area. So if we look at how we make the lamp of growth, you can see that it needs emeralds, blaze powder, and also rock root, which is found in the ground. The only plant with actual seeds is this, which is hemp. Uh, it's used to make rope, as we'll see later. And you can see that's also going to be accelerated by the lamp of growth. So you can see that the blueberries, similar to the wild berries, will slow your speed, but they won't give you any other negative debuffs. And there's a few additional items we can make. We've got the blueberry muffin, made with some sugar and some blueberries, wheat and an egg. The apple elderberry crumble, used for, with elderberries, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, apple, wheat and sugar. Finally, the elderflower cordial, which is sugar and a potion. And the elderflower itself, so we go through the, into this area now, we can see I've put down some elder trees. And you can see that we have them in, in, in different stages with the berry and the flower. You can use this, which is a sickle. And the sickle, this is the top tier sickle, the moonstone sickle. And the sickles, depending on the tier of the sickle, the lower tier ones will have a lower area of effect. So let's take a spot, say over here, and you can see if I get this one, you can see we're going to get loads of the flowers over here. Uh, here's a lead, and there's actually a recipe for the lead, uh, which is using rope. So that's going to use the hemp, and then we can also turn the rope into a lead. So a different recipe that is perhaps a little bit more convenient if you have no slime balls. You saw at the beginning of the video that I was using a crate. It's actually a multi-block structure up to 2x2. Two with the storage of 108 slots. So here we've got the wood cutter, which is very similar to the stone cutter. And if we put the planks in, you can see we get various options. So the new option that is available for planks is this panels block. There's also a new door and trap door. If we look at the actual wood, and it's the same for, for all of them, we put the wood block in here. You can see we've got the beam block, and we also have the elder beam block. And these are added, the beam and the elder beam are added, same with the panels, for each of the different types of vanilla wood. Now you'll notice if I craft with four pieces of dirt here, nothing's going to happen. But if I'm standing in water, I'm actually going to be able to create mud bricks. And these are wet mud bricks, and if I place them in the world, they're actually going to dry if they're not adjacent to water, similar to coral. And you also notice that there's actually these torches in here. These are called fiery torches, made with another one of the ores, which I'll look at in a moment. And you can see you can place them underwater. So the first type of armor that you're going to want to make will be bone armor. So it has a durability, it's a high durability, similar sort of power level to chainmail. Okay, so this mod also adds a couple of different mobs to the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see we've got a darkwood trapdoor. Here's the rope that we uh, made earlier. And so if we go in here, this is an elder door. You can see we've got beetle spawn eggs. Let's just take a look at the the, the creature first. So you can see it's a. I've never seen a beetle eggs quite like this. And you can see that it drops chitin, and that was the chitin armor you saw in my inventory earlier, that you can make out of it. However, if we tame it now with a golden apple, you can see the beetle becomes tame. And what we can do is we can take this chest and we can put the chest on the beetle. So now if we go into the beetle's inventory, you can see 
Unless you put a saddle on the beetle as well. So the inventory of the beetle is 63 slots. So this is the elder trapdoor. Here we have the other mob that's added, which is the dreadfish. See, interesting attack method. This is going to drop soul fire. You can see it's always going to drop the purple soul fire. We can take the soul fire and we can put a die on it and we can change it to a different color. You can tame the dreadfish as well using prismarine crystals. That way, if you wanted to, instead of killing the the dreadfish, you can see I can then dye the dreadfish to whatever I want. Okay, so let's just review the ores that are actually included here. So, amber is added. This is the amber block. Doesn't seem to have much use at the moment. So then we have the moonstone, which is a tier above diamond, so similar to netherite. And you can see it has a shield, like chitin, which is obviously from the beetles and the bone. Uh, we have rock root, which you remember I used to make the lamp of growth. So that's the ore form and then the, the block form. And finally, the fiery ore that was used to make the fire torches you saw. So the fiery glass ore will drop these fiery glasses. And then this is used, it's 12 items for one fiery glass. This is also notable in that it's the only light emitting block. So there are a few light emitting blocks. So we also have this, the ceramic lantern, which made bricks and coal or charcoal. Another light emitting block. And there is one further mob, which you can actually see flying about there. And that is the moth. So if we take a look in this chest over here. So the moths are going to spawn in six different colors. So we've got turquoise, white, lime, yellow, orange, and pink. And we can actually, actually capture the, the moths in a bottle. Let's just have a look, see how that works. We're just going to spawn a bunch of them here. So you can see when I right click on the moth, it puts it into that moth lantern. And I can right click with the moth lantern and it will release the moth again. Or I shift right click on the ground and that's going to create the lantern I can put in there, which is also a light source. So you can see really there's a lot of light sources in total. The lantern, the fiery torch, the ceramic lantern and the soul fire and the fiery glass block. And you can see here, I've put down a few different colors of the soul fire, just to sort of show the particle effects there. So one final thing to mention with regards to the fence and the beam, is if you look at the rope here, if we have a fence or a beam, it's actually going to have a certain connection to it. Until next time, thanks for watching.